12 News is your local election headquarters today. Another Rhode Island politician jumped into the race to replace Congressman David Cicilline, former state representative Aaron Regenberg. And for more on the state of the 1st Congressional District, we're joined by 12 News politics editor Ted Nisi live in studio with us. Ted, it sounds like Regenberg is looking to win over progressive voters in the Democratic primary. Yeah, Kayla, Kim Regenberg served two terms in the General Assembly, and then in 2018, he nearly beat Dan McKee in the primary for lieutenant governor. In his video announcement today, Regenberg echoed the same themes that he ran on five years ago. We need to know, to really know, that our next rep will continue to champion these same progressive principles. That's what I've been doing for years here in Rhode Island. Regenberg touted endorsements from some other elected officials on Providence's east side, which is the neighborhood he used to represent at the State House. And Ted, with this addition today, I feel like folks at home should be <laughs> forgiven if they can't keep track of exactly who has already declared that they're running. I'm having trouble and it's my <laughs> job. Yeah, Kim, the floodgates have, have really opened since Joe Shikarchi and Helena Folks decided not to run mm -hmm. for this seat. Let's take a look at everyone in the Democratic primary. You've got Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos, State State Senator Sandra Cano, Providence City Councilor John Gonsalves, former Republican nominee for the seat Alan Waters. There's also former state official Nick Audiello, State Rep Nathan Bia, political newcomer Makeda Barnes, and former Secretary of State candidate Stephanie Beauty. And those are the people who've announced campaigns. On top of that, you also have multiple people either preparing to uh, announce or already strongly considering it. They include State Rep Steve Casey, State Senator Ana Casada, Jamestown businessman Donald Carlson, White House official Gabe Amo, and State Rep Marvin Abney. So that's 14 people who are either already running or seriously considering running in the Democratic primary, but there are still no Republicans who've announced for this seat. Talk about a crowded field Seriously, there. Seriously, yeah. All right, Ted, switching gears now, Target 12 investigator Tim White has a new report on ghost guns coming up tonight. Yeah, this is an interesting one. Tim obtained a search warrant that's shedding some new light on how state detectives uncovered a large cache of ghost guns at a North Smithfield home. As part of that, Tim's learned about a bizarre twist involving a suspect who allegedly asked someone to shoot him on camera. Tim will have that report and those details coming up new at six. Definitely want to stick around for that one. All right, 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi, thanks so much for being here. At Good four. to be here.